Hey, everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. And tonight, we'll see the Indiana Pacers as they go up against the Sacramento Kings here in Golden One Center. Brian Anderson here alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Allie LaForce joining us from the floor. A look at how all-star voting is going thus far. It's so much fun to see the tallies start to come in, see how things start to look. And you look at Sabonis, he's being counted among the top 10 players in the Western Conference as votes continue to pour in. I'm sure he's honored to have a spot on the list, but you know what he's really eyeing is a spot in the starting lineup. We'll be sure to update you as we continue to get results. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Toppin at the four and Turner at the five. T.J. McConnell is out there with Benedict Matherin. And it's Siakam in at the three spot. And for the Kings, Fox and Monk, they're the guards. The duo inside, Barnes and Sabonis. And it's Murray in at the small forward. Well, this seems like a spot in the season where a team's focus gets most tested. Right in the middle of the year, Richard. Oh, yeah, these are the dog days of the year. I've always said this. The first 20 games are a lot of fun. The last 20 games are a lot of fun. It's the middle 40. That middle 40, that's where men are made. They grab their own miss. Out left to the wing. From behind the arc. And it's Turner. That time on the assist by Toppin. The defense better watch Turner more closely because he can strike that fast. Fox surveying the D. Turner with a block. Monk with a steal to the paint. And he jams it after taking a nice feed on the run. We all know that Fox can score, but there he is reminding you that he can also drop some dimes. Siakam, the pass to Matherin. Top of the screen on Sabonis. And it's Matherin missing. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Barnes passes to Sabonis. Outside Barnes. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's McConnell. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Pass to Siakam. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Ooh, cooking it up down low. It's spicy P. Now here's Fox. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Here's Barnes. Back to Fox. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. The Kings have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Here's Fox. Capitalizes off the crossover. Fox has gotten his second bucket of the game. Gonna have to do more than this to stop Fox. He's such an outstanding competitor. Fox has gone two for three from the field. McConnell against Fox. Here's Siakam. Misses from short range. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Indiana trailing here. And to touch on Sabonis' game, his rebounding might not get enough credit, RJ. And it should be, A. Eh? He's almost always a lot to be a top 10 rebounder in this league. He's a quality passer, and sometimes his glass work falls under the radar. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. I 
Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That free throw good from Matherin. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Fox against McConnell. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Back to Fox. Pass to Barnes. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Kings. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. And he drops the first. Free throws good from Barnes. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Toppin outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Keegan Murray. That's his first foul. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Toppin passes to Matherin. And it's off from three-point range. And Fox has got the ball here for Sacramento. It's a three-point game. And this matchup with the Pacers, their first meeting of the season. They should have steamrolled this club last year, but that's not how it played out. Monk, a screen on McConnell. Here's Fox. And Toppin pulls it down. Indiana has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Murray against Siakam. Pass to Turner. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Turner's got his second bucket of the night. The agility of Turner is huge in these pick and rolls. He's hard to prevent from scoring in these situations. Up top, Sabonis. Out to Fox. Takes a three. Pacers with a rebound. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively. Try to get some closer looks. Now here's Murray. Nine points in his last outing. Now McConnell. Pass to Siakam. And he makes it. A long swing player. Siakam uses that 6'9 length down low. The Kings trailing. And here's Fox. The stats he's putting up, impressive. Averaging around 30 and a half points a game. And here's Monk. He's covered by Matherin. Five on the clock. The shot from the low post is good. Monk's gotten his second bucket. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Here's the Occam. He's coming off a 19-point game against Utah. It wasn't just the scoring. He got others involved, too. Over Murray. Another one falls for Indiana. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Here's Fox. It's hauled in by McConnell. 
it hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump, and that puts them just one foul from the bonus. And that one falls from McConnell. Here's McConnell. Inside. Here's Siakam. Missed inside. For Sacramento, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Here's Monk. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Benedict Matherin picks one up. How about Malik Monk? One of the most potent scoring guards in the league, RJ. See, people forget, B.A., that when Monk entered the league, he was only 19 years old. So it took him a couple of years to find that three-point stroke. Now, this man is instant offense and has zero fear out there. And he knocks down the first one. them both the Pacers have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop Siakam looking it over and stolen by Murray Monk against Matherin and it's Monk that time on the assist by Murray Monk's got 8 points and put your head down and go to work that's what they need to do yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Indiana trailing here. Outside Matherin. Rebound by the Kings. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. I really didn't see much of an edge from them. A little more intensity could have gone a long way. Yeah, you hate to be critical, but that's part of our job. You have to call it the way we see it. That night, they were flat. Fox against McConnell. Siakam outside. The teardrop. Barnes with the rebound. For Sacramento, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. McConnell with a steal. Now the Pacers on the move. And then Siakam with the jam. Yeah, and when it comes to finishing plays, Siakam can beat you back to the basket, facing up and, of course, in transition. The Kings leading. Fox outside. Pass to Monk. The three. Counted from distance. He's got 11. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. McConnell passes to Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. McConnell's got three assists tonight. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Sacramento has gone two for four from range to start things off. Sabonis with a screen on McConnell. Up top, Sabonis. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Now look, this won't go down as a block, but the D made him change his shot. And that was enough. McConnell passes to Siakam. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And a new group getting ready for the Kings. Lyles, he's checked in for Barnes. Dorte comes in for Murray. Herter's checked in for Monk. And Mitchell subbed in for Fox. Neesmith, he's checked in for Indiana. Nimhart comes in for McConnell. What's up? That 
Allen drops. He ties it up. You're shooting more free throws as his career is going on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. Mitchell with the ball. Here's Lyles. Here's Sabonis. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Nimhard, the pass to Neesmith. Now Siakam. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by two. Pass to Herder. They need this. And Turner with the block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. The shot by Duarte, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Here's Neesmith. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. You also got to give them credit for how hard they're going inside. I mean, looking to capitalize whenever they can on the interior. And that one falls for Turner. When you think about Turner, one of the best shot blockers in the league who can also score at all three levels. Walker, he's checked in for Indiana. So Turner nails them both. Here's Mitchell. No points yet. Pass to Herder. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Indiana leading. And there's the lob. And the slam dunk by Toppin. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. Sacramento has gone two for four from range to start things off. Mitchell, the pass to Sabonis. Pass to Duarte. Here's Lyles. Six to shoot. Here's Mitchell. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Indiana has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Nimhart. Toppin on screen on Mitchell. Nimhart, the pass to Toppin. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Back to Herder. 4-3. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Herder. Sabonis has got five. And Sabonis has been working on adding the three-point shot to his arsenal. And look, with all the other things that he does well, if he gets that, it's going to be a problem. Now here's Walker. And here's Toppin from the arc. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got six rebounds now in the game. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Here's Lyles. Still without a bucket. Sabonis, left side. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. It's the versatility and the unpredictability of what Sabonis does that makes him so hard to match up with, which is why he gets these easy tic-tac fouls.
Free throw drops for Sabonis. The unique skill set Sabonis possesses is really outstanding. This man is a versatile scorer, a talented rebounder, and is an exceptional passer also. Sabonis drops them both. Now here's Siakam. 15 points in the game. Pass to Nee Smith. Here's Smith. Siakam for three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. Malik Monk has been leading the charge for the Kings. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be back in a moment. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And guys, for the Kings, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court. So you have to run every time you get the opportunity. Sacramento has gone 3 of 5 from the perimeter in this game. On the court for the Pacers, second quarter underway. We've got Miles Turner. Jalen Smith is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Neesmith, and it's Nimhard in at the point guard position. Indiana trailing here. You know, Richard, when it comes to excelling in every facet of being a guard, De'Aaron Fox is that guy. And there's no question he can take over with the scoring and get his teammates involved, B.A. He is a pest on defense. This man does it all. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Demonis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox are a great tandem. Sabonis said, quote, he lets me be me. A starting point guard usually doesn't like the big man bringing up the ball, but he lets me do my thing, and I feel like we feed off of each other. He's so fast. He can get to the rim, I can get him open, and then let him do his thing. So it works both ways. Brian? All right, Allie, thank you. Here's Neesmith, covered by McGee. Pass to Neesmith. Now here's Siakam. Now here's Turner. Herder defending. Nice shot by Turner. Turner's got nine. Hey, when you're as big as a guy like Turner, that's what you're supposed to do. Attack in the painted area. Fox the pass to McGee. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's Herder. Pass to Duarte. Fires from deep. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got six rebounds now in the game. Nimhard, the pass to Smith. And that one is hammered home. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Well, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. And the free throw, no good. Now Fox. Outside Herder. Back to Fox. Uses the glass on the layup. He has six. This is the thing about Fox. He has the length to do damage on the inside. Siakam outside. Gets the three ball to go. And the Pacers lead by two. 
Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. There's Herter with the three. Here's McGee. See Occam with the defensive effort. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Jackson with a screen on Fox. Back to Siakam. Jacks up a three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Outside Herder. Here's Fox. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Pass to Neesmith. Back to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Timeout call, Sacramento. And some changes here for the Kings. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for McGee. And it's Monk in for Duarte. Matherin's checked in for Indiana. McConnell comes in for Nimhart. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And here's Fox. He's got six. Pass to Lyles. Up and over Smith. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Three-pointer Matherin. And again, it's Indiana with a three. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. And so it's Fox with it. He'll bring it up for the Kings. Eight-point game. They host the Hawks after this one. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. To the middle. Lyles. And he can't bank that one in. Indiana's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Now here's Siakam. He's closely guarded. Pass to Neesmith. Three-pointer. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Outside Monk. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And you have to love the focus. He gets hit, but converts it anyway. The Pacers making a switch here. Toppins checked in. Pacers have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Down low. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. Barnes has got seven points in the game. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Indiana's gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. McConnell passes to Matherin. Two points. That one goes. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively.
Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Monk. Herder from long range. Buries it. He's 2 for 4 in this game. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. To the middle. From 8 feet away. No good off the back of the rim. Sacramento has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Fox finds Monk. Lyles a screen. There's the triple. Siakam pulls down the board. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Matherin. Smith with a screen on Monk. Here's Matherin. Hauled in by the Kings. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Herder passes to Monk. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Toppin with it. Back to McConnell. Siakam, left side. Just five on the clock. Toppin outside. The three is up. Rebounded by Lyles. The Kings trailing. Fox outside. From 12 feet, jump shot is good. Fox has gotten four this quarter. The defense was so focused on keeping Fox in front of them, and that gave him enough room to sink it in from mid-range. Toppin outside. Siakam against Monk. And here's Toppin from the arc. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Siakam's got three assists in the game. Timeout called. The Kings. And some changes here for the Kings. Demonis Sabonis. He's checked in for Lyles. Keegan Murray comes in for Herter. And Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Neesmith comes in for Pascal Siakam. Sacramento has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Sabonis outside. Back to Monk. Pacers with a rebound. Toppin's got four rebounds now. McConnell against Mitchell. Pass to Neesmith. Top of the screen on Murray. Inside. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Toppin's got seven. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Sacramento. Trailing by five. Sabonis looking over the floor. Outside Murray. Here's Monk. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number seven tonight. McConnell with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Pass to Neesmith. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. I just love when teams make it work down low. Sacramento has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. McConnell against Mitchell. Outside Barnes. Mitchell, the pass to Barnes. And again, another missed shot. Knocked away. Indiana has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. The three from Mitchell. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his third assist of the night. Nice play by Murray, showing off that passing skill set of his. Now here's McConnell. Pass to Turner. Over Sabonis. Turner, no good. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Here's Monk. The shot, no good. Matherin with some nice D. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. 
Sacramento has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. And here's Murray. The three ball. Another three for Sacramento. If you're Murray, you've got to be ready to shoot off any pass. That's Keegan's bread and butter. Here's McConnell. Turner, a screen on Mitchell. Here's McConnell. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got eight rebounds in the game. Mitchell, the pass to Monk. Tries to spin move. Back to Mitchell. To the paint. Here's Sabonis. Pass to Barnes. Oh, stolen by Turner. In transition. Here come the Pacers. There's Neesmith with a three. Hits the trifecta. Neesmith's got five now. The transition three. It's part of the new NBA. And when he's taking them, it's a great shot. A minute and a half left to play in the first half of basketball. Monk against Matherin. Outside Barnes. Back to Monk. Clock at six. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got eight rebounds in the game. Stolen by Mitchell. Outside Monk. And Turner with the block. McConnell against Mitchell. To the inside. Outside for McConnell. Back to Turner. Yes. And it's McConnell with the assist that time. McConnell's got six assists here tonight. Sacramento has gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Sabonis with a screen on Toppin. Barnes passes to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. I love watching Sabonis work in screen rolls. Positions himself perfectly in every set. Pass to Matherin. Fires top of the key. It's rebounded by Sabonis. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Murray from outside. Another three for Sacramento. The sweet spot for most shooters is the corner. Murray is no different. McConnell against Mitchell. Matherin, a screen on Mitchell. Pass to Toppin. And that one drops. Toppin's got seven points for the quarter. The ideal pass for that situation. Great instincts. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Pacers up three. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hello there, everybody. It's halftime, and right now the Indiana Pacers are in the midst of a good battle. Well, you appreciate their efficiency, finding their shots, then making them count. I will say, though, the defense they were facing allowed them to do a lot of that. It's usually that combination when a team is shooting this well. Okay, now we'll look at some of the players who could be a part of the dunk contest during All-Star break. You can tell this selection process is going to be a little bit heated. Each mm. guy is a show stealer fighting for the spotlight. Some good players are going to be left out of the contest. I can tell you that. You know what, Jack? It happens every year. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Man, what can you say? Pascal Siakam, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. 
And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. The duo inside, Barnes and Sabonis. Fox and Monk, they're the guards. And it's Murray in at the three, the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rims. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Now here's Matherin. Turner, a screen on Monk. Matherin with a ball. And Sabonis picks him up defensively. And it's Matherin missing. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. That's tipped. Makata with a steal. And there's the foul. It's on Malik Monk. That's his first foul. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Toppin finds Turner. Here's McConnell. Pass to Turner. Outside Matherin. Now here's Toppin. Shot clock at five. McConnell with it. He's covered by Fox. McConnell's shot is off. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. It's tipped. Toppin with a steal. And here's Turner. Wide open. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. McConnell's got assist number eight here already in the game. Monk against Matherin. Outside Monk. They set the screen. For the tie. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Fox against McConnell. Matherin passes to Siakam. Right wing. Turner for three. Shot clock at six. Sinks the tray. And now a six-point Indiana lead. And you really want more of this from Turner. We all know how dangerous he is once he finds his rhythm. Monk passes to Fox. Back to Monk. Pass to Murray. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. They'll be off to Portland for a meeting with the Trailblazers after this one. That'll be game five for them as they near the end of a six-game trip. On the wing, Matherin. Siakam with it. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Pass to Fox. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Man, the defender really went after him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Second free throw, no good. The Pacers have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Indiana's a team on the rise. Coach Rick Carlisle said this is a new era of Pacers basketball, a direction of youth and of going all in on a group of guys that are young, talented, and extremely high character and tremendous upside. Brian, a lot to be excited about. No question. Absolutely. Thanks, Allie. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Pass to Monk. Back to Murray. 
to stop the drought. Let's the three fly. And it's Monk. That time on the assist by Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. High post Siakam. He's against Murray. Here's Toppin. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. Okay, that's a tough bucket. D on him as tight as possible, but you're not going to stop this guy from getting to the rim. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Outside Monk. Murray against Siakam. Left side Murray. Pass to Barnes. Shoots over Siakam. Barnes no good. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. Leading by five. Fox against McConnell. And the foul called on Harrison Barnes. That'll be a second foul of the game. Here's Toppin. He's got 11. Siakam outside. Just five to shoot. Turner attacking. Now here's a look at the best passers in the league. Second is De'Aaron Fox. He has a great eye for where to send the ball. And you know his teammates love playing with an unselfish guy like him. He's off on the first. That's off as well, so he misses both. Sacramento has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Fox, the pass to Monk. Back to Fox. And he drops it in from the low post. Fox has got ten points in the game. The defense comes at Fox hard, but he's ready for it. He knows how to stay agile and nimble inside. Siakam against Murray. Siakam outside. Pass to Toppin. Here's Matherin. McConnell outside. And here's Siakam for three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Back to Fox. Now Sabonis. Turner covers. And a chance here to check out some stats for Pascal Siakam. And he's taken a small step back offensively. He really hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier on. He's lacking the intensity he had. He needs a new mindset and stop being passive and play with more aggressiveness. And the first one at the line is good. The Kings making a switch here. Herder's checked in. Sabonis drops them both. The Pacers have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Siakam finds McConnell. From the arc. Indiana again missing. The Kings trailing. Monk passes to Sabonis. Barnes with it for the lead. No luck on that one. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Herder against McConnell. Pass to Matherin. Six on the shot clock. Top and shot is off. And Sacramento shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. Now here's Barnes. And here's Fox. And Barnes, the bucket. On the assist by Fox. Fox has got five assists in the game. Pretty good battle going on here in Sacramento. And the Pacers call time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. 
good timeout if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop it. Neesmith, he's checked in for Siakam. And as we continue through January, here are the latest power rankings. Taking a look at Boston, they're on a roll right now, making their way to the number one spot. I think for the Kings, they've got to be happy with how well they're playing. Certainly on the upswing, everyone understanding and knowing their role. Here's Neesmith. Monk covers. McConnell outside. Pass to Matherin. A good look from Turner. Off the mark and the drought continues. The Kings have gone four of eight in the third. Fox against McConnell. Sabonis with a screen on Toppin. Here's Barnes. Pacers with a rebound. Turner's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Fox against McConnell. Over Herter. Indiana again missing. The Kings leading. Here's Barnes. Pass to Sabonis. A shot no good Ooh, excellent D there from Turner Neesmith passes to McConnell here's Toppin Turner with it 16 points for him baskets good and the Kings call time, out, time, time here and now that they have some time to get a little Sorry. bit of rest it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Some changes for Sacramento. Lyles comes in for Barnes, and Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Smith, he's checked in for Indiana. Sacramento has gone one of four here in the third from range. Mitchell, the pass to Sabonis. Pass to Monk. Back to Sabonis. Herder with it. Just five on the clock. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, of late, it seems like Kevin Herter has taken his game to another level, Richard. Well, a knockdown shooter, the Kings have made it a priority to set him up for quality looks, and they have reaped the benefits of those looks. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good. Herter, known as one of the game's great three-point shooters. Herter knows his role and plays it well. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. This team thinks they should be up in front, but at least they tied it up. McConnell outside. To the middle. Here's Neesmith. Checked by Mitchell. Matherin against Monk. Shots good by Matherin. Matherin's got 12. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Mitchell against McConnell. Now here's Mitchell. He's guarded closely. Now here's Monk. Smith with the rebound. Here's Matherin. 12 points for him. 
Up top, McConnell. Checked by Mitchell. Back to McConnell. Pass to Matherin. Turner with it. Wide open look. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got four rebounds in the game. And it's Monk off the drive. Can't get it to fall. Monk with a steal. And here's Sabonis. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. That kind of challenge isn't going to deter Sabonis. He's good at gutting through contact. McConnell against Mitchell. Up top, McConnell. There's Neesmith with a three. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Monk. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. Some changes for Indiana. Jackson, he's checked in for Turner. Siakam comes in for Matherin. And it's Nimhart in for McConnell. And Monk drops them both. And for the Pacers, they're shooting about 31% here in quarter number three. Nimhart, the pass to Siakam. From 11 feet away. Here's Neesmith. Herder defending. Pass to Nimhart. Six to shoot. Jackson the screen. His first shot coming late. And it's good. Two points. Nimhart's gotten his first basket of the night. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Kings. Picked by Sabonis. Mitchell with the ball. Guarded by Smith. Sabonis in the post. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Getting good position as always. Sabonis going to town. Love his footwork in there. Monk against Siakam. Pass to Nimhart. For three. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Siakam's got six assists here tonight. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Now here's Herter. Six points for him. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Mitchell. Now here's Sabonis. Let's go with a three. And the three-pointer goes. Sabonis has got nine points now in the quarter. Have to admire the confidence right there. Sabonis feeling like he can knock down these shots whenever he wants. And here's Siakam for three. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. The Kings on top. Up two. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the floor for Indiana. Isaiah Jackson is out there with Smith. Then it's Pascal Siakam. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Nimhart in at the one. Here's Nimhart. Sacramento grabs the miss. 
Lyles has got six rebounds now in the game. Herter passes to Lyles. Back to Herter. Here he goes. The rebound by Nimhart. Indiana trailing here. To the right side. All sorts of time. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. McGee's got five rebounds tonight. Now here's Fox. Not a lot of room. Forte. Off the mark there with a three. And for the Pacers, they're shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Smith passes to Neesmith. Kicks it out to Jackson. Here's Nimhart. He's covered by Fox. Smith with a screen on Fox. Here's Nimhart. Goes up again. Smith. Oh, just couldn't take the lid off. They had the chances. Came up empty. Pass to Herder. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Sinks that one from the post. The Pacers have got nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. Here's Nimhart. He's covered by Fox. Smith with it. With the floater. And that one's good. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. The Kings have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. McGee a screen. Got it. And the Kings lead by four. And Fox is so slick with the handles. I love watching him show off like this. Here's Neesmith. Pass to Nimhart. Jackson outside. Jackson with a screen on Fox. Nimhart, the pass to Smith. Knocks down the long J. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three-point shot, and he delivers. Big three right there, especially at this point in the game. Now here's Herter. Here's Fox. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. The Pacers have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Pass to Siakam. And he gets the bucket. Siakam's got 23 points. Yes, certain nights Siakam takes over. He's been aggressive here from the tip. Fox outside. Down low. Here's Herder. Pascal Siakam with a rebound. The Pacers have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Here's Nimhart. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Kings leading. Here's Duarte. Fox outside. Pass to McGee. Back to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Look at Fox get up. Okay, I see him flexing on him. Indiana's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Jackson outside. Now Siakam. Here's Nimhart to tie it up. Called in by McGee. Now Fox. Pass to McGee. To the left wing. The three. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And that'll be Sacramento's ball as it goes out of bounds. King's able to keep possession here. Monk, he's checked in for Duarte. A big group substitution here for Indiana. Turner, he's checked in for Smith. Toppin comes in for Jackson. Matherin's checked in for Neesmith. And it's McConnell in for Nimhart. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Toppin, left side. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Lyles. 
Lyles has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. McConnell against Fox. Driving inside. It's Monk on the wing. Matherin with a steal. 11 feet out. Rebound by the Kings. Here's Lyles. Nails the baby hook. Monk's got 23 points. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Forte. He's checked in for Sacramento. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He was very upbeat and positive, saying to his guys, let's go, let's go. I want you guys to up the pace. Look to push the ball up the floor whenever you can. They cannot stop us in transition. Let's see how the team responds. Guys? Great work, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Toppin. Pass to Siakam. Back to McConnell. 4-3. Called in by McGee. McGee's got nine rebounds now. To the paint. McConnell with a steal. Here's Siakam. Here he goes. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on JaVale McGee. I like whenever Siakam is going at the defense because it makes them compromise like right there. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Kings. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off of transition play, running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. Siakam hits them both. Sacramento has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Monk passes to McGee. Pass to Fox. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on TJ McConnell. When Fox drives, he knows he's going to get contact, but he stays locked in and gets the foul call. Shoot two. And he makes a first. We look at the pace of this league, and Fox, look, he is built for it. Both free throws good for Fox. Here's McConnell. Pass to Siakam. Matherin against Monk. Clock at six. Back to Siakam. The three is up. Offensive rebound. Outside for McConnell. And here's Siakam. Three-pointer. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. McConnell's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. The Kings have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Fox up top. Guarded by Toppin. Dorte. Pass to Fox. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Fox has got 13 points here in the second half alone. And so it's Siakam with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Trailing by five. 
Rebound by the Kings. McGee's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Fox against McConnell. Over to the left wing. Here's Lyles. No good on the triple. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Falls for McConnell. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Siakam. The fadeaway. Called in by McGee. The Kings have gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Here's Duarte. Oh, Siakam with the block. And the coaching staff, they love this. I mean, Siakam, he's engaged, aggressive, just getting after it on the defensive end. Now here's Siakam. Turner. It's good on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Timeout call. Sacramento. And some changes here for the Kings. Demonis Sabonis, he's checked in for McGee. Barnes comes in for Lyles. And it's Keegan Murray in for Duarte. The Kings leading. And here's Fox. Let's a floater go. And Turner with the block. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The Pacers shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. Pass to Siakam. Over Murray. Siakam, no good. He's trying to find his shot. But at some point, you have to start making these. Matherin with a steal. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Barnes. Here's Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. You have to know where Sabonis is. Really box him out. He's so good on the offensive glass. We look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. Now here's McConnell. Pass to Siakam. Over Murray. Down to five on the shot clock. Siakam, no good. On the wing, Murray. Guarded by Toppin. Murray, no good. Here's Indiana. Six-point game. Fox the pass to Barnes. Here's Matherin. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Sacramento has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Outside Monk. Inside. Here's Sabonis. There's another block. 
a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protect. Oh, oh my hey, goodness. How wow. about that? And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. The lead is two. Pass to Barnes. Sabonis with a screen on Toppin. Here's Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Siakam, a pass to Turner. Gets the bucket and the foul. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. Wow. Turner just going off. Stepping up and getting it done for his squad. That one misses for Turner. And pushing it up. Here's Sacramento. Here's Fox. It's hauled in by McConnell. The Pacers shooting at 45% of the game so far. Floats one up. Siakam, no good. Well, Sacramento is shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Monk. Sabonis outside. against Turner. Shot clock at six. Box the pass to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Answering the bell, Sabonis. Big time, guys. The Pacers shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. Siakam against Murray. Siakam in the post. the lead down to just three such an important part of what this team does a lot of weight on Siakam here Siakam hits them both see it's easy to see why his teammates trust him he's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch McConnell against Fox Sabonis with a screen on McConnell Sabonis outside and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. With the game still up for grabs, this is a crucial trip to the line for Sabonis. We'll see if he can stay composed and deliver when it matters. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw is good and that makes it a three-point lead and if you're Sabonis' teammate you love this they know he's ready to come through at the strike so he gets them both and it's a four-point ball game gets them to fall and those are huge free throws it's now a two possession game time called here indiana decides to talk it over they're down by four 52 seconds left in the game Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. See Ockham against Murray. Turner, a screen on Murray. Pass to Turner. Takes the three. Rebound by the Kings. 
<laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first of the fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And he does get the second one. And that puts him up five. Huge moment here. You have to stay calm in these situations. Siakam with it. Checked by Murray. An open look for Toppin. And he buries it. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. Tremendous vision. Passing out of the shot. That's great decision making. There's 25 seconds left in the final quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. Huge spot for Fox as the point. He's the leader, so they want him at that strike. And he ends up making the second. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Indiana calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Side. And it's in. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. And now they foul and stop the clock. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. So the first one drops, and that'll put them up two. And for a point like Fox, handling the ball late in games, I mean, you'll be in this situation a lot. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And so it's Siakam with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. To tie it up. No good. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. First free throw is good. And that narrows the gap to one. And it's tied up with that one. Oh, tremendous composure at the line to tie things up and give them a shot at overtime. Sacramento calls timeout. to Murray from behind the arc no good from three point range outside Matherin it's off time expires we're going to overtime and we'll be back right after this Boy, these teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters. Now we're headed to overtime. This one should be fun. Top it at the four and Turner at the five. Benedict Matherin is out there with TJ McConnell. And it's Siakam in at the three to take the lead. That one's good on the assist from McConnell. Siakam's got 34. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. The Kings trailing. Fox outside. Sabonis, the pass to Murray. Murray attack. Oh, okay. Look out. Now. Keegan Murray. Hopefully we'll be seeing that in the dunk contest one day. McConnell outside. 
Siakam in the post. He's against Murray. And then Siakam with the jam. A fantastic athlete. You love the effort Siakam shows on the glass to keep plays going. Great action here if you're just joining us. About a minute into OT. Outside Monk. Sabonis with a screen on Matherin. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. Showing what kind of hang time he's got there, using a little double pump when you can just go straight up with it. The Pacers have gone two of three from the field as OT gets going. Top and outside. Well, overtime basketball. About a minute and a half played. Back to McConnell. Five to shoot. And the Pacers tack on two more. Well, Sacramento is shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. The bonus outside. Here's Barnes. And Toppin pulls it down. Toppin's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And he lobs it up to the rim. And a slam dunk by Toppin. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And it's Sacramento's ball. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Monk. Top it with a steal. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Sabonis with it. Turner covering. And Barnes, the bucket. On the assist by Sabonis. We're seeing why Keegan Murray was a top five pick. He can take over a game with his scoring. The Pacers have gone an impressive four for five since we started overtime. Toppin outside. Just over two and a half minutes in OT in this exciting contest. Plenty of space. And the Pacers tack on two more. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. to Sabonis Fox against McConnell the three from Barnes the rebound by Turner Turner's got his 20th rebound here tonight to the middle Toppin shot is off the Kings have gotten three of five attempts to go as we play here in this OT period Fox the pass to Monk and the officials will call the illegal screen here. And just turns it over on one of the most irritating ways possible. I mean, what was that? Violations like that? Yeah, those will make your coach bolder than me. McConnell against Fox to the paint. Here's Siakam. That one a little long. Well, some kids you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. How about the little guy throwing himself on the glass? For Indiana, they've gone 5 of 8 here in OT. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. Fox against McConnell. Tries to keep it alive. Barnes comes with a double team. And we're going to have a jump ball. Passes to Toppin. Five on the clock. Siakam for three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And so Murray will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. They trail by three. Fox 
Hawks against McConnell. Hawks the pass to Barnes. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. And I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the heady move right now. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Siakam. That almost seven-foot wingspan of Murray, it allows him to affect shots. Fox against McConnell. Money! Oh! An enormous three-pointer! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Indiana calls timeout. The score tied at 117. 11 seconds left to play in overtime. against Siakam over Murray can't cash it in another time and we're going to have a second overtime and we'll be back with you shortly As we play on into another overtime, you know these teams must be wearing down. It's become a battle of attrition. McConnell with it. Outside Matherin. Pass to Toppin. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Oh! Murray making his presence felt inside. I like this from Murray, not just hanging out on the perimeter. Indiana trailing here. McConnell outside. Down low. 13 feet out. That one rolls around and rims out. The one thing he and his coach have in common, they'll both have nightmares about this quarter. Yikes. Outside Murray. Pass to Sabonis. The three from Barnes. Pacers with a rebound. McConnell's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Siakam. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. The Kings shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. Here's Fox. And the layup is good. And now it's a four-point Kings lead. We've seen Fox take over games before. Only takes a few shots to go, and then this man is feeling it. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Shots good by Matherin. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Matherin against Monk. Double team on Fox. Back to Monk. He can't hit that time. Excellent D there from Toppin. McConnell outside. Pass to Turner. And here's Toppin from the arc. 
Second shot opportunity. And a nice layup by Turner. Turner's got four points this quarter. Playing with real urgency. Turner keeps the play alive. That work ethic from him is just fantastic. Sabonis with a screen on McConnell. Box the pass to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. B.A., I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. And so it's Indiana with it. McConnell outside. Pass to Siakam. Over Murray. Siakam, that's good. Siakam's got 38 points. This is why this team turns to Siakam in big moments. They trust him to come through. Sabonis, right side. Back to Fox. That one falls. Nice feed from Sabonis. Fox has got 30. What energy from Fox when they're up against it, proving he's ready to be that guy. Now here's Siakam. Pass to McConnell. Six to shoot. Back to Siakam. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Barnes passes to Monk. Making his presence felt on this end. And just holding down the fort, B.A., anchoring the defense. And Siakam with the slam. And this is why the team relies on Siakam. In the big moments, you can trust him with the shot. And Fox has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. It's a one-point game. Outside Monk. And Toppin pulls it down. Monk with a steal. Here's Sabonis. Excellent D there from Toppin. And their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yeah, they made some great plays, but way too many turnovers. McConnell against Murray. Cash! Now Fox. Monk from downtown. It falls. Oh, a tremendous three. We're tied. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. second difference between the shot clock and game clock. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Fox with the ball, and it's Toppin picking him up. Keeping them in this. Sabonis showing no fear, taking the big shot. Timeout called. The Pacers. They're down by two. 15 seconds left to play in the second OT period. Your thoughts, guys? A chance to tie it up here. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two. But if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. Siakam against Murray. Siakam outside. There's a screen by Turner. Siakam, the pass to Turner. McConnell from outside. Oh, that shot had a chance, but the all or nothing shot attempt is off the mark. So a close game sees Sacramento taking this one. 
Double overtime games are so grueling. And after this one, everyone, the officials, the fans, the broadcasters, will all have to take a little rest. Yeah, I need that rest, I'll tell you. But, hey, give them credit. They really dug deep into their energy reserves and showed their determination to get this win. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. HB, you have playoff experience. What's your advice to these teammates to get to that level? We have the talent. We have the coaching. It's just a matter of every day approaching that with that mindset that we're going to go take it. I think if we come out with the energy and the focus that we've shown that we can do, uh, we'll put ourselves in a great position to have fun the postseason. The mental is just as important as the physical. Thanks so much, HB. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Damanis Sabonis.